You know, back in the day, Joy, when my dad, Francis Schaefer, and me were barnstorming around the country establishing the religious right based on our anti-abortion stand, one I've moved a long way from since, the whole idea was bringing America back to some moral stand. But now, just think about the Republican Party right now. Let's just throw some words out that are associated with them. Mass shooting, Milo, Trump, Moore, Bannon, rape, child molesting, neo-Nazis, white supremacy. What the hell is going on with the Republican Party? I'm not shocked by Donald Trump. He's an ass. I'm not shumped by, <laughs> shocked by Roy Moore. He's a loudmouth, gun-toting fool. What I'm shocked by is the complicity, the enabling, what these people are doing. You know, you read the subtitle of my book, A Manifesto of Creative Redemption for the Age of Trump, Fascism, and Lies. That is not an overstatement. We are in a political climate that is built on one lie after another. I just want to say for the record, by the way, I believe Ms. Korfman. I believe a woman who stands up, which is very difficult to do, and comes forward with a story like that. She was a Trump voter. Mm -hmm. She's a Republican. I believe her. I just want to say that as a, as a father and grandfather and someone that, that respects women. I believe her. But let's say I didn't believe her. Let's say she was lying. What are the Republicans doing jumping to the defense of Roy Moore by saying things like, well, it's kind of like Jesus. It's kind of <laughs> like Mary, who, by the way, as you noted before, was so, I was brought up on the virgin birth, so I guess they're all Unitarians now. <laughs> you know, we've got, we've got a situation. We've got a situation where the Republican Party has become complicit. And I'm going to say it again. Milo, mass shootings, Bannon, Moore in the presidency of Donald Trump, who himself would be in jail in most states if he had been caught grabbing a woman by the crotch without her permission. That is called criminal assault. So the climate is so damn poisonous, Joy, it boggles my mind. And I left the evangelical world long ago, but I swear to God, if I was a Bible-believing, evangelical, fundamentalist Christian now who believed what my father believed, I would stand up and make the same denunciation I'm making now. This is pitiful. It is so disgusting. Listen, you know, what we're watching here is a massive shift in politics, demography, but also religion. American white evangelical Christianity that I grew up in is now part of a white supremacist movement that wants to hold on to power, whether it's by gerrymandering, voter suppression, racism, white supremacy, or even violence. They know, for instance, that the gun lobby is making a fortune selling guns to people that shouldn't have them. And they will go along with this as long as it's part of their party platform that keeps them in power with the dollars that flow to candidates and the rest. We are talking about a morally bankrupt religious movement. We are talking about a country that, thank God, I think faces a hopeful future because, as a speaker before on this show said, the California trend of, of ethnic diversity, less racism, tolerance, accepting homosexuality as a normal human behavior. These things are on the ascendant. But this last grim, bitter clinging to power by white oligarchs, these racists, these child molesters, these buffoons, these liars, it is a pitiful thing. We are, we are in the equivalent, and I'm not making a moral comparison, but it's like the last days of Hitler's bunker. A bunch of white generals clustered around a table, looking at maps, grimly trying to hold on to a shrinking part of Berlin as as the allies move in from all sides that's our future it's going to be a good future here in America it is going to be one of creative redemption and it's something we can look forward to but in the meantime God Almighty we are facing just the lowest scummiest moment of American history I can remember as a 65 year old man we've got somebody who a credible person claims is a pedophile standing up in front of a room full of people going yeah that's right give it yeah what what is he defending a charge of pedophilia we've got a president who tells us that anybody 12 women 16 women 20 women who get together and say that he molested them he assaulted them they're all liars he's going to sue them well he hasn't sued them yet because he'd have to do depositions in court and and of course what they were saying is true and so let's just look at the moment we're in we are in a pit 
This is what hell looks like, a country where people talk about morals and wave Bibles defending someone who's accused of pedophilia. That's about as low as you can get. And uh, so this is where we are, and it's, I've seen it in my lifetime coming from my evangelical background. I've written about it, and what we need is redemption. That's why I use the word that when I speak and when I talk and I write. Letter to Lucy is about redemption, but the point is the redemption's coming, and it's coming because of people like you, Joy, who speak up. It's coming because of people, people like, like the folks on this show here who are bringing sanity to the discussion. That's the future. This bozo in a cowboy hat is the past.